Okay, well, it's evening and the light is failing, but what the hell? Gotta make some kind of a video now that this damn thing is working. It's been operational for all of five or six hours. There's still a whole lot of uh, detail to work out on some of the accessory systems, but drive systems all work, hydraulics all work, weeding tools back on. Tomorrow morning, gonna try to go out and do some weeding. So, the, uh, oh, where to start? There's a seat, that's where the person who operates it sits. The dash display, I don't know how this will come out in the video. It's an LCD on the, on the right is um, the display from the coulometer that tries to estimate battery state of charge um, based on how much current has run through the shunt. And I just turned on the uh, balancer unit for the left hand side display in a couple minutes. It'll bring up all of the uh, separate battery cells, the 12 of them that are in series, and it just keeps polling them, and any time voltage on any one of them is out of whack, then it uh, pulls a little bit of charge from a high cell and dumps it to a low cell, I presume with capacitors or something. It lives back in the battery box, but it's just constantly trying to balance them all. So we'll see how it does. So that's the battery display dash, and then dash two, as they call it, shows that currently I've turned the key switch on, and if I reset emergency off, now it's no longer in emergency off. If I shift it into neutral, then it'll be able to spin the motor without running me over. And you can, so I'm now choosing a direction with forward. Oh forward reverse direction switch and now should be able to spin the motor up and we'll just hear it no we'll hear it we can also see it on the tack if I turn on now one of these is headlights although many of the headlights are currently missing the tack can we read the tack yeah Here's the tack. Sorry, right, try that again. I think I shut it off. So, looking at dash number two, there's the tack. Boy, I ought to be able to do better than this. That's just about legible. So, those are in, uh, obviously, it says RPM times 10, so that's 400 RPM. Thousand. So spins right up to three grand without too much trouble, and uh, I can't see how the transmission would balk at that on account of, I'm sure the gas motor that drove the past was you know, able to spin up towards three grand. And yeah, it drives okay. Um, as I said, some of the headlights are missing. But, what else? Oh yeah, so the high-pitched whine you hear, if I kill the key switch, it'll go away. Uh, switch back to neutral. And I might as well kill this. And if I tip the seat forward, then we can see the contents of the control box, which got rather convoluted over time. And there's still a few things left to do in here. Um, I need to put another DC DC converter here to help uh, recharge the small battery from the big battery. I need to, uh, this little thermostat here, I cooked it at like 13 or 14 volts, which it didn't like, so it gets its own little DC-DC. Um, and I think the one, of these relay, the one of these relays is so far not connected to anything. If 
but I can't remember what I'm supposed to do with it. At any rate, there's a bunch of tinkering still to do in here. But, yesterday I had to pull the controller and all this other jazz out of the inner layer of the box just to figure out, man, this is oh, kind of awkward with the wrong hand. So the bottom layer of the box holds this great big General Electric motor controller that drives the motor and then also a contactor and there's a current shunt down here and the other element off to the, the long element on the left hand side is the charger and then there's a, another contactor up there that drives a little auxiliary uh, connection for some future use. At any rate, I had to pull all of this stuff out of the deeper layer and then rebuild it on a bench to make sure I could figure out what was going wrong with the controller and I finally got it working and then put it all back in and wired it all back up. It's, you know, a charming four to seven hour escapade. But with the end result, now I can actually drive this thing around with only electrons powering it. So yeah, I'll make a proper video someday during the daytime when we can do it justice. But you know, just for kicks. Let's make it make it make some more. Oh, I gotta walk all the way over there, do I? Back and forward. So yeah, basket weeder, flame weeder. I still have to fix the heat shroud for the flame weeder. And I don't think the flame weeder has power yet, electricity. But whatever. You know, one thing at a time. Today we got screaming loud electric motor action, which is just wicked. So, yeah, better video to come, promise.